But dad was home. It could be a challenge to deal with dad because, as your brother Jonathan told me, your father didn't have an off switch. You, took, you, you told me that when you were on vacation, when you were a boy, your father would, wouldn't let you go play so much. He wanted you to sit down and he wanted to engage you in deep conversations about philosophy. <laughs> so just, just how good or bad was it, Peter? To how good or bad was it? I mean, your father was relentless. Yeah, well, you know, he wasn't a normal dad. <laughs> I believe you told me he was an adult from childhood. That was, that was a curse in his own life. He was treated by his mother in a way he became a surrogate father for, for, um, for his younger, younger brothers. He just, he had to be. He wasn't allowed as a child to read books that had pictures. Mm -hmm. wow. So at, at times, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the kind of relationship where you can go out and play catch with him, and it wasn't that frequent that we would have those sorts of conversations, but occasionally there would be these very boring. <laughs> <laughs> Not occasionally, he didn't tell me occasionally. In fact, as we went on in our conversation, I mentioned to him that I saw very few examples of Jonas Saul smiling, laughing, making any, any jokes. And, I read about how he wanted to be someone from a very early age, wanted to do something for people, and we were sitting in your, um, at your kitchen table, and I said, why was your father like this? He was always on, always wanted to help, always wanted to do the next thing. Where did that come from? And Peter just looked at me and goes, yes. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a characteristic of many scientists. I mean, the problems don't stop. And as you saw, the devotion of Jonas's uh, people who worked with him in the lab, that's how it is at the Salk Institute now. Uh, people are working day and night, and believe me, they don't get paid by the hour. The more hours they work, the less they get paid per hour. Uh, but they do it because there's a question worth solving. And I think that that's what Jonas Salk inculcated in us, in us all the time. The reward for a job well done is the opportunity to do more, just as it said at the end of the film. <laughs>